Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where this time we'll be looking at the image tab and what it does. Okay the image tab is more than somewhere just to see thumbnails of your imaging session it also controls partly what you see on the main preview screen and it does have an effect on the image count on the left over here. Um, so firstly we'll start off with the preview effects and this affects what you see on your screen now LV++ and LV stack are only for live views with DSLR cameras and what happens is the LV++ tries to improve the image that you're seeing on your screen from the live view but you may be better off using a histogram to change that because that gives you much more control over what you're seeing. Now LV stack is the stacking of the images from your live view. Um, you can set how many to stack in your settings which we'll get to very shortly and that just runs that for you. But like I said, only with a DSLR, Canon or Nikon. Then you can flip your image, so you've got flip horizontally, uh, flip vertically, so you can just flip it around and make it look nicer. You have a sharpness filter, um, depending on your image, like that's too sharp for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can add a bit of sharpness. It doesn't affect the actual images, I should tell you this, these don't affect the actual images, it's only what you're seeing in your preview. You can have a negative image, which can be quite interesting. Um, then you have gamma and brightness, both of these work similarly, just click on it and it increases. Gamma goes up to 3 uh, plus 3, if you need to disable it just double click on it. Uh, brightness works the same way, up to 150% increase in brightness and again double clicking resets it. And then you have rotate uh, clockwise, so it'll just rotate your image around clockwise. So that's your preview effects. Just a note on them that if you're running one to one or one to one scroll and you have a slow computer, these image effects can have a real, real slowing down effect. So be aware of that. It works perfectly fine in uh, fit screen preview mode. So that's what I'd run it at. Now, Next to that is your image preview settings and these are exactly the same as the ones you have in your camera tab. They just affect what you're seeing here. So I won't bother going through them again. Uh, directly under that, oops, yeah, on fit. Uh, directly under that you have this line here, uh, the buttons, the arrow buttons, the single buttons move you forwards or back one image and it changes what you're getting displayed there. and the end on multi arrowed buttons is the last image and the first image which is one I've been working on um, preview effects on this one I need to flip this one vertically there we go it's going the right way and it remembers that setting for various uh, images during the session so I will maintain that as long as it's selected um, after that you have in the middle here you have the ICD, ICT, this is image center uh, thumbnail and what that does instead of showing the preview as the full image it just shows the center of the image. Handy if you just want to quickly browse through and see if you've got any reject images you might want to get rid of. Uh, so that's up to you which one you use. Um, some people like to leave it on ICT, I know Ivo does but uh, it's up to you. Next you have your folder selection. Um, up of course moves it up one folder um, this is the actual folder you're currently in as you can see I've had to load up some images from a few months ago simply because I haven't had any imaging lately since I've reinstalled uh, maybe by Christmas but uh, clicking on that will bring up a browser so you can browse to a different folder and get your images from there or shift clicking opens it oh, sorry I'm gonna have to pause this Apologies for the phone. Real sorry about that. Um, where was I up to? <laughs> oh yeah, and, and shift clicking on will actually open the folder in Windows Explorer. So if you want to get in to all your images, that's an easy way to do it. Now, under that is your image count, and this is the number of images in the current folder. And as you can see on the left in your status screen, it reflects that over here. Just note that it doesn't auto change when you change targets um, I think maybe either or Marie could look at uh, if you're going to a, a lights plan to have it automatically switch to the new uh, directory I mean you can do that easy enough by going to the last taken 
and then that'll be updated but if you don't that will remain on the last image uh, the last folder that was selected over here in your image tab so that's just a bit of a warning there then you come to the details on the actual image um, up the top is the actual file name that you might be using uh, the little tick means that's the current one that's selected uh, it doesn't mean it's the one that's displayed but if you do something it will affect that image like if you want to delete it will delete that image not the image that's displayed that's what the that is um, on the right down the bottom here it tells you the type of image and you can have up to three types of image depending on the camera and your settings if you've just got a fits it will come up as a fits but if you're using a DSLR um, to capture your images you can have that set to raw and JPEG or if you use your settings you have you can have uh, converted to TIFF as well so it'll have TIFF raw and JPEG um, so that'll just display the types of images you have there and what you can do with that um, depending on what type of image it is if I hold down shift and double click on it it will open this image in the appropriately associated program so double click on it and that's going to come up underneath everything and you see it's opened the image in a fits viewer so that's what it does with a fits one if it's holding down shift and double clicking it if it's a, a raw file or a tiff file it will open it in the appropriate program and if it's a jpeg if you have a jpeg option as well you hold down control shift and it'll just open the jpeg version in its uh, associated program so if i hold down that and double click on the top one here for me i have earthen view so it's opened it in that and i can view it in the, in there as well so that's just my simple viewer i use it works with most files which is quite good um now what else have we got down here oh we come down to the bottom uh, refresh simply refreshes the current folder and reloads the uh, previews um, go to last taken if you're in the middle of a session or whatever and you hit go to last taken it will go to the last image you took and display that um, if you've ended a session and started a new one but haven't taken any images and I do mean any images at all go to last take and we'll take you to the last image from the previous session uh, the info only works on um, fits files where it gives you the fits header information that you can look at so that's easy enough there just a bit of information and as you change images it will change the fits header information as well so it just changes with the image selection so that's your info button and then you have delete which doesn't actually delete the image totally but it moves them to the uh, recycle bin and if you're using data craft and you have it set up to do an actual mirror um, I store mine on my imaging PC and I also have data craft copy them across to an external drive so I can take it to my processing PC if you hit delete here it will delete them not only from your imaging PC but also from the destination PC if you have a full mirror set up and it will delete all versions of that particular file so if you have a, a TIFF a CR2 and a JPEG version of them it will delete all three versions and move them to the recycle bin for you <coughs> but really that's about it for the image tab um, I hope you found this useful Oops, so that's flipped um, next we're going to start moving into the uh, more in-depth looks at various parts of the user guide where we go into the ind individual sections of what's on these tabs that need further um, discussion shall we say uh, generally we're going to be moving into the features now and starting having a good look at them but that's it for today um, i hope you've all enjoyed this series up to date and look forward to seeing you on the next ones um, just like to wish you all clear skies and I will see you next time. Bye now.